Okay, boys and girls, hello. Today we are going to make our own Solomon crocodiles today. So, the first thing you need is a nice clean sheet of paper and a writing utensil. Of course, we never use marker first in art class. We always draw in pencil first. So, if you'd like to go over it later in marker, you can. I'm just using a marker because you can see it better on the camera. So, um, I have a paper, a writing utensil, and if you would like, you can add color with crayons, markers, or colored pencils. That is not necessary, though. So, the first thing we want to do when drawing our Solomon crocodile is we want to draw an eyeball. I don't want it too far over here. I don't want it too far over here on the bottom or on the top. I want it just about a third into my paper. And I'm going to draw a nice circle. Now I'm not going to draw a gigantic circle. That would be too, too, too silly. Now I want a nice medium sized circle right here. Once I do that, we are going to make it so uh, a Solomon crocodile is looking up at the sky. So I'm going to put a little circle inside. And you can shade it in if you want, or you can save that for later. I'm just coloring it in so you see it a little bit better. So I have my eyeball for Solomon. Now it's time to start drawing his body. Now, first grade and kindergarten, you guys should know your lines, especially kindergarten. Kindergarten are some line detectives. So we are going to use a zigzag line. Now watch what I do. I'm going to go to the back end of my eyeball and I'm going to do a zigzag line all the way to the end of my paper. It kind of looks like sharp teeth. So once I have my zigzag line going off of my paper, now it's to, time to draw our big crocodile mouth. So on the other side of the eyeball, I'm going to put my point on that side, and then I'm going to do a big crocodile mouth wrapping around into a smile. It almost looks like he has a big old crocodile nose. So, from there, I am going to do my zigzag line to make his crocodile teeth. So right underneath his smile, look where my point is, I'm going to do a zig zag line all the way down to the tip of his nose for his crocodile teeth. Now he has kind of a cool looking smile going on. So once I have his cool looking crocodile teeth, I'm going to put my point right at the tip of his teeth or right at the tip of his nose. And I'm going to put another smaller curve underneath for his jaw. Now, once I have that, it's time to give him his belly. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use wavy line, wavy line. So I'm going to put my point, uh, point right at his jaw and I'm going to do a wavy line all the way to the bottom of my paper. Now he has his crocodile belly. So from here, you can give him a little nose. So watch what I do right at the tip of his nose. I'm going to do a curved line. And then on the inside of that curved line, I'm going to put a baby curved line. Look at that little baby curved line. Now he has a cool nose. We pretty much have our Solomon crocodile drawn. Now in the story, he liked to fool around with those bugs. He didn't want to leave those bugs alone. He would chase them and they did not like it. So we're going to put a little uh, flying bugs in the sky. And you can really put them anywhere. You don't need to put them where I put them. But to make those, you are going to draw an oval for the body. Kind of looks like a little, little pill. And then we're going to do two ovals on the side for the wings. And then two more ovals on the other side for the other two wings. Now we have one fly in the sky.
Now you can put these flies wherever you'd like. Lord knows they fly everywhere anyway. So there's no wrong place to put your buggies. I'm gonna put one more down here. Now we have Solomon Crocodile all drawn. Now it's up to you whether you wanna add color or add anything special maybe that you would like maybe some decoration to his body or the sky it is up to you it is your crocodile there are some uh, student examples on this week's folder if you would like to look at them to get inspired but make sure that your crocodile looks like your own you do not want to copy off of somebody else's work okay i'm excited to see how your crocodiles look have a great day